Ray isn't going that far. It's not accepting that there's going to be road closures. What they're saying is that they're guaranteed of having 7,000 tonnes of grit. They expect to get another 4,000, which brings it up to 11. The difficulty is, is that they'd usually use between 15 and 20, and given the snowfall is coming, you'd expect it to be the higher amount. So they've got about 50%, or maybe a little bit more. They're going to ration it over the weekend, um, but we still don't know what roads will be gritted, what will not. They say there will be a public information campaign. Then next week, really, they're hoping to get more supplies. If that doesn't happen, then they're going to have to prioritise whether they have extra things like chemicals to get rid of the ice. They're simply not going to have enough. And I think that's the point, Brian, when you will have road closures. Now, what they say is they're not accepting that's the case, but if and when that does happen, the public will be informed. You will know what's going to happen. And obviously, opposition parties are saying people have to know and the government will be held to account if they fail in that regard. Um, John, what about this warning from Dublin City Council uh, today about water supplies being at a critically low level? What's happening there? Well, Dublin City Council have said that water supplies may have to be cut off in some areas during off-peak times, and Fingal County Council has issued a similar warning. They say they're at such critically low levels that they need to conserve the water supply for peak, uh, for peak use. One of the problems is burst water mains. The frost is causing the ground to move and break the mains, and the City Council has asked anyone who sees this to report it. The other problem is some householders are leaving their taps on all night in a belief this will stop the, their taps from freezing. The Council say this is adding to the problem, and they say if your taps haven't frozen before, they're unlikely to now. They've also issued uh, some advice to people clearing roads and pavements themselves, particularly not to pour hot or cold water as this will freeze immediately. They've all, the City Council have also set up a local coordination centre in the civic offices with the various agencies to monitor events over the coming days and details of all these advices and updates are available on their website. Very good. John Kilrain and Paul Cunningham, thank you.